Apple's iPhone and iPad are set to receive huge software upgrades this fall with iOS 16 and iPad OS 16. And there's a long list of new features coming to both devices once it's released. But today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite features that's pretty well hidden in both the iPhone and iPad's new operating system. I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for tuning in to this ZDNet how-to video where I'm gonna show you how to use the Photoshop-like feature that Apple calls lift subject from background. All right, so I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max here running the iOS 16 developer beta slash public beta. This is on beta four. Apple does make changes throughout the process, but this feature lift subject from background, which is not sexy at all for a name of a feature, it's worked the same since beta one. All right, so here's how the feature works. I'm on an iPhone 13 Pro Max running the iOS 16 developer beta. This is beta four. Uh, Apple does change how features work throughout the beta process before the official release, but as of right now, this feature has remained unchanged. So I'm gonna take this photo here. It's my son about 10 years ago, really cute. And I don't want all the background on there. So what I do is long press on it. You can see how there was like a quick little flash, see that? And I'm tapping on his head or long pressing on his head because if I do it on the on his shirt, it actually highlights the text on his shirt because iOS 16 will recognize text. But now I have this object that's cut from the background and you can see Apple did a really good job or the iPhone did a really good job. So what I can do is slide over to messages and send that as a photo. And in my experience, this works on a bunch of different types of photos. It's not just people. You can lift dogs. Let's see if I can get my other dog in the background here. I haven't tried that one yet. Nope, I'm gonna say no. All right, Stanley Cup champion, Colorado Avalanche. That's what I'm talking about. Wish I had a hockey fan I could send this to right now. Nope, missed the drop. Try that again. Oh. Selecting his, his jersey. It's a lot easier to do this on the iPad because you could have two apps side by side. All right, and then there's objects like flowers, or you could even do it on the, 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 the great sloth astronaut. There's plenty of options here. So if you ever need to Photoshop something, an object out of the background and you don't know Photoshop, and you're running iOS 16 or iPad OS 16, you have to give this feature a try. It seriously could not be any easier. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. I'm Jason Cipriani. Please make sure to visit ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this one, as well as tech news.